Gasukas. We are back. Another episode of the Gasukast. This time we're going to talk about uh, Star Wars uh, Force Friday and some of the pops that we were able to obtain. And we also have a couple boxes to unbox tonight. One that I ordered specifically, I know what it is, and one that I traded and got something for Heather. And she's aware of what it is, but we haven't really got to see it in person yet, so it'll be kind of cool for both of us, right? Yeah. Heather was the one out hunting for a Force Friday. I worked, and she basically went out and stood in the lines for me so we could get our hands on some of the cool pops that were out there floating around. Um, I had a friend who went to Toys R Us and Target uh, for Friday night and he he was able to obtain a couple things but he got no chases. In fact at Toys R Us apparently somebody had come in there before him and nabbed all of the Toys R Us exclusive Kylo Ren's which is such bullshit. I wish people wouldn't do stuff like that. Apparently it was the same family and they just grabbed all of them. So that kind of sucks. Um, but Heather was able to make it over uh, to Hot Topic because I knew they had a flock chase. Um, and and uh, I also wanted the Chewbacca, the FYE Chewbacca. So you want to tell them what happened at Hot Topic? I'm really sad about it. So, well, should I talk about STCC? What about it? How I went out for that. Yeah, I mean, you can, you know, lightly touch the subject. So I went out for SCCC, and I waited at GameStop, because that's where the Leia and R2-D2 2-pack was, along with the cat dog, which I wanted. And um, what else did they have? There? Oh, Tony Stark holding the helmet for San Diego Comic-Con. And I got there, they opened at 10, and I got there at like 9.30, and nobody was there. Not one person was waiting by GameStop. So I was like, well, damn, I... Didn't expect that, but it was pretty cool. So I was the first in line. So I walked out. I walked into the mall at about, what was it, 9.30, 9.45. And I figured that I would be totally fine. There were like, there were th three or four people outside of Hot Topic. And then by the time everybody went in, there were like eight or nine of us, I guess. Um... But yeah, obviously there were people in front of me and this Hot Topic's really low volume and they only got one chase. So the guy at the front of the line obviously got it. That's what he went in for. And uh, You're talking about the pork chase? Yeah, the pork this, chase. This past Friday, pork yeah. Friday. Okay. So he, you, you weren't able to obtain that? No. Um, which we were sort of bummed out about because she had gone out specifically and we had a wedding to go to on Friday. It was a whole mess. She ran out to specifically grab this stuff for us, and we couldn't get our hands on. But it's fine. But that's I wasn't, okay. I'm they not, only had one. So. If it was a, if it were Marvel for me, it would have been more of a letdown. But Star Wars, I'm still kind of getting into it. I, I like it. I really love the pops. But I'm kind of you know picky and choosy with which ones I buy. But yeah. the one that she did, uh, she was able to get me, was the boom, ta da, the flock Chewbacca, and he's really really cool. Um, I like him a lot. I I think this is the very first, believe it or not, out of all the 300 or so that I have, the first flocked one. Because I, for me, because I know you have cat dog, and I have in your Tigger. like little collection and Tigger, right? But for me, in my Star Wars Marvel collection, this is the very first flocked one, and a really uh, cool flocked one actually, uh, if I do say so myself. So that he's actually this is cool. he's uh, if you look in his hand, he's got a little porg. You know, they're going to make so much goddamn money with that thing. That I, little pork thing. I bet you that that's the chase. I bet Chewbacca got the chase. Oh, he's me. holding the chase. <laughs> yeah, because it actually, oh no, it doesn't have, it's not flocked. It was a bad joke. Wouldn't that be Just... hilarious? Well, no. Uh, so there was, actually there was a um, pot that somebody made, I think they made it, um, uh, uh, photoshopped it. It was a pork holding a um, uh, Pennywise uh, chase like it like of this size and he's holding it like a little pennywise chase like in the window if i can find the picture i'll throw it up while we're you know d doing this video um when in the editing phase but <clears throat> it was really funny i was laughing my ass off but yeah that, isn't that funny he, it's like he's holding the chase right there in front of you anyway he's cool I, I really like him and then the other one i've already shown i got this weeks ago um walmart in delaware put these out so it's the resistance bb uh unit he's pretty cool 
I grabbed him. I, I'm, I'm not a big fan of this one. He's cool looking there, I guess. But yeah. uh, he's all right. Uh, but I just I just grabbed him for the sake of having a Walmart exclusive, and, and he was out early, and I was like, oh, why not? I'll, you I'll you know what he looks that. like to me? He looks like a dusty old globe. Yeah, he does. He's got like a little green in him and everything else. Yeah, but yeah. it's it's like like almost dirt, like not dirt, like dingy looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he has like. Well, that's what he's supposed, I think that's what he's supposed to look like. Yeah. Like old and kind of beat up and rolling around. Mm. So that's cool. Um, but here you know, we have our list here, which I'll throw up on the screen as well. But all the different exclusives that were out there. Target, I still haven't seen that one out. But I want to know why the one with the wings out wasn't the chase, because he's the coolest one. Yeah, he is a cool looking one. I, I think agree. he's really cool. Um, and then you have the Chewbacca that we were able to get a hold on, uh, our hands on. And then there's this Chrome BB-9E uh, pop that, from Box Lunch. I'd, I'd actually like to have that one. I almost ordered it the other day. They have it, had it to, uh, Box Lunch had a thing out where you could order it online. And it was still available by the time I got to it. Walgreens, oh my god, everybody's going to be trying to track those down, and it's going to probably be forever before anybody gets that. I hate... The uh, pr Praetorian Guard, I hope I'm saying that right, Praetorian Guard. I hate going to Walgreens. Um, Hot Topic of Porgs, of course, we Heather did get to see the both of them, and she was almost in arm's reach of the chase, but couldn't get her heart, hands on it. You know, the worst part about that guy is that he had a kid... So, like, I could have beat him up for it, but I didn't want to do it in front of his kid. You don't want to embarrass him. Yeah. And then Walmart had the resistance Just kidding, PB unit that we have and Princess Leia. Up. There you go. She beats me up all the time. There's a Princess Leia at Walmart, which I actually had my hands on today. I was going to buy it, but eh, it's okay. I don't know. I don't really it's box was I don't a little really, scratch. Eh, it was a little scratch. And she's sort of. I don't know. Meh. The Toys R Us Kylo Ren I'd like to have. GameStop DJ, who knows? Who, I don't know who that character is. I guess we'll figure that out. I, I'm not sure if he was in Episode 7 or not. Um, you can comment below if, if he happened to show up already. And then he had the Costco packs. They're, they're so stupid. I have no, no reason to buy them because it's all the same damn comments just boxed up, boxed up together. Uh, who cares? So anyway, that's all those. Force Fridays passed. Um, it was fun while, while it was around, I guess. Uh, I didn't really partake in it at all because I was too busy. Um, Heather did, and it we sucked. didn't get chased, so that wasn't that great. <laughs> um, that's what I really went out for, but that's okay. Why don't we, let's open a couple of the boxes, and then we can get on to bigger and better things, I guess. Well, bigger and better things, but we'll talk. The reason why I want to open them is so we can talk about them um, and, and the collections that they're a part of. So this came from VidGuy Collectibles. Um, I don't really, or VidGuy. Um, I didn't have to put that out there, but... That's pretty cool. It came here, and it seems to be packed up really, really nice and tight and well. So, uh, those guys out there who might be interested in order from him, why not? What? So, this is actually my first Ragnarok um, pop or... Yeah, because I haven't gotten any pops for Ragnarok yet. No, um, I probably didn't have Or dwarves, for that matter. And this is a dwarf. Uh, this is the 5,000... Um, the limited 5,000 count uh, Hulk. Dorbs. I saw him not too long ago. I ordered him. It, it's actually been a little while ago. Um, but there he is, limited to 5,000 pieces. He's really cool. He has his little he has his little uh, helmet on and his uh, hammer looking thing there. Is that war paint? Oh uh, yeah, he has war pe paint on his face. So this is when he's cool. in the uh, he's in the arena in uh, Thor Ragnarok. So there he is. He looks cool. I'll try to do a closer up photo for everybody to see him uh, all the way around. He's got his Helmet, there's the back of the helmet, so he's cool. Um, yeah, really so these Thor Ragnarok ones, like I don't always buy all of the commons. I usually like take my time and like buy them down the road when they're on sale, which I might do with these, but I really like them so much I want to kind of go out and buy all of them right now. I keep fighting myself. I saw Hella the other day, the common Hella with the big, like her helmet. That thing's so fucking cool. Yeah, I really want really that cool. one. I, I just want to buy it just to have it. It's so cool. And the Chase isn't even all that great. It's the one without the helmet on. Um, but that Hella? Hella. Yeah, they have, have one. She, yeah, she has... It's just her hair. Her That's hair is weird. down. Yeah, because in the movie, she takes her helmet thing off. Yeah. And actually, I don't know if it's Adorbs or... I think, nah, I think... I think... Here she is. Uh, I'll throw this up on the screen as well. Um, there's Hella without her helmet on. Oh, I thought you said yeah. it was a cheese. And actually, my friend picked up uh, Hulk 
Walmart exclusive where he does not have the helmet on for me tonight. He just contacted me. Uh, thanks, Mark. I appreciate that. Um, and I've also ordered uh, Surter, uh, who's from GameStop. He's in the mail. People were getting them. Uh, I haven't gotten him yet. When I get him, I'll definitely do some sort of video um, talking about him a little bit because he's really, really cool. He's really cool looking. Like yeah, he's like kind of like, you know, translucent and he, I don't know. I don't know what, what he looks he? like in person. What is he considered? He's like uh, he's like a demon thing. I yeah, think. that's what he looks like to and me. And he's, I guess he's going to be like one of the bigger villains for the next film. So I guess we'll find out. I can't wait to see that movie. Oh my God. Um, but anyway, so cool. This is awesome. So we'll add him back here to... Look at that, he's going to sit right in front of Thor. Thor would love that. Um, okay, so let's open your box. We have box number two. Number two. Whoever packed this up has really nice handwriting. Yeah, she's very nice. I tend to trade with people, and then we have a trading kind of relationship in the future. So, oh, a there relationship? It is. Yeah, where we can trade one another and we trust each other. I trust you. I know you do. I hope you, you do. I'll trade you my pops. What? So uh, here's Woo! Heather's, and I <gasps> traded. I don't even know. I don't even know what I traded for this. Snoke. Thing. Oh, was this? Yeah, Supreme Leader Snoke. Yeah. He traded my Snoke for my new pop. I did. Now why don't you show him? I don't know. I can't. I want to keep looking at him. It's really cool. He's really cool. He comes with that little picket creature thing, the um, yeah. thing that turns into like a key. Look at him. He lock, or no, he doesn't turn into a key. He just opens locks and stuff. Oh, he's, really he's cool. so cute. Yeah, he's Thank awesome. you. She likes Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts, so I wanted to get her a couple of these. And, of course, now it's a hot topic, isn't it? Yeah, so now yeah. you probably can't find him anywhere. He's up to about 24 bucks. I traded Snoke. Snoke was a little bit further up over here. You know, who cares? Shit. Yeah. Just get what you want. That's how I look at it. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, so that's all of them. Um, he's cool. So Force Friday, uh, for us, all things considered, uh, we really got everything we wanted. I, uh, the, like I said, I don't know anything about the poor creature yet. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I'm sure it's going to be a comedic kind of, you know, uh, character. It's, it's just going to be funny and making stupid noises and kids are going to love it. Um, so I, and then they have like a whole army of them now where they have like the regular one and they have the chase one, the Hot Topic, and oh, then they have the one the, yeah. with the wings that are open. It's like they have so many goddamn variations on the thing. Um, it's just going to get out of control. Hopefully this thing is like a big deal in the movie. And it's like, it, it's, 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 it, it's not another Jar Jar Banks. I guess that's all I can tell you. I hope it's not another one of these. Oh, Where's he yeah. at? He's, oh, he's in there? Jar Jar? Yeah. Oh, I thought he was out. Oh, yeah. I, I he hope he's not another one of these. Another Jar Jar. Yeah, so... But they did only, well, I guess now, it's in, back then, they, they had a whole bunch of Jar Jar stuff. And, you know, he was never a really sought-after character. But now he's up there. He's like 40 something dollars. Wow. Yeah. I got him through some STCC trading. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Uh, do you have any other things that you want to talk about? Other than she did have, uh, the same day, she didn't get the, uh, the Hot Topic Chase board. She went to another store, and somebody beat her to a Tiffany Chase. Mm -hmm. the horror pops and we ran around all day today trying to track down some of the horror pops that are coming out Walgreens seems to be the lucky spot right now with them according to like what I've been reading so I don't know if we're going to have any luck there we usually have okay luck we usually get mm -hmm. what we want from them but not always it's but so weird they, they release stuff in such a weird way and like when you talk to the employees it seems like it's very rare you find somebody that knows, that knows what, they're talking, what they're talking about. Yeah, but don't you guys find the same thing? It's like hard when you go out and you're like, hey, you have Funko Pop. Some people are like, Funko Pops, I know all about Funko Pops. I collect Funko Pops, blah, blah, blah. Or I, you know, I know all about them. I know what you're looking for. Then you have some people who are like, what's a Funko, you know, plop? You yeah. Know what I mean, it's just like they don't even know what it is. Ew, like, I hate the word what's plop. A, what's, a, what's a fun plop or something? You know, I don't know. Whatever, <laughs> whatever words they come up with scrambling them around. Um, but... Yeah, so today we went to Walgreens and there was a guy in there who actually knew what we were talking about. He knew we were looking for the Tiffany Chase, uh, 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 Chucky, was it Bride of Chucky? Mm -hmm. And he was like, no, sorry, we haven't had any chases. We haven't had any Halloween. chases. Yeah, from the Halloween set or whatever. Yeah, and we don't even have, we haven't had a Walgreens exclusive in like two weeks. And I was uh, like, oh, well. So I mean, here's my big question for all of you. And 
and maybe you guys have some insider knowledge. Um, maybe you have tracked some sort of piece of information down. Heather and I don't know much <clears throat> about it, but we're waiting on the Walgreens Negan Dorbs. And I Carl. Was, I was really hoping to have the Negan Dorbs by the time we, so we're going to go uh, meet Jeffrey Dean Morgan in December. And I was hoping either to have the bloody Negan Chase from Walgreens Dorbs to have him sign it. <coughs> we're going to take your Barnes & Noble or exclusive the Barnes & Noble uh, bloody Negan. So one or the other. But I, if I had that Dorbs, that would be really cool. But if, do you guys have any, you know... Um, insider knowledge, or not even insider knowledge, did you guys read anywhere on any forums or any groups where they're talking about a release date for it? Yeah. The release date is completely wrong from Funko. July. So I don't know what's going on. I might even send them an email to see if they have some sort of answer. I already I did. Oh, yeah, that's right. I you contacted did, them I twice, and they're like, well, we can't talk about release dates. Something about privacy. And I'm like, well, can you let me know if it's happening or not? Or like maybe they're aiming a now. month? Maybe they're aiming <laughs> like, for now when like the show comes out. Like October? Home. Yeah. That would Halloween. be cool. I really I really hope so, just be, just so we can have it. Yeah, no, that's I, I hope so, too. I, I really want to get my hands on them because we like everything Negan. Yeah, outside that's like our of, favorite outside show. Of, and outside of Marvel and Marvel and Star Wars for me, yeah. Walking Dead's the next. <clears throat> I, I don't really. Her and I share together. We really enjoy that. Yeah, and I don't even like vegan, vegans, villains. Oh my gosh! But I love Negan. I don't like vegans. She doesn't either. like vegans either. Yeah, yeah. I, I like steaks. Anyway, so hey, give us a like uh, uh, and subscribe, please, and uh, comment below uh, if you. You know, want to chat a little bit about uh, some of the pops that we found. You have any questions, uh, and you know, um, if you knew anything about the Negan thing, or if you wanted to just send us, a or Negan, maybe I mean... just let us know some of the lucky spots that you've uh, you've hit, where you found uh, some pretty quality, great, awesome finds. I, my friend Mark apparently goes places and he just finds chases like they're falling out of the sky. I think they are. I don't think it's about going to these places. I think he's just like a lucky charm, and they just fall onto him. I don't know. Well, I know I'm not a lucky charm. <laughs> I don't find anything. I don't find shit. You know, whenever I find things, I'm not with you. That's right. Hmm. But I did do okay at SDCC this year, uh, you know, uh, going out and finding the exclusive. Well, I didn't even expect you to go. Yeah, I went out on a whim and I found him. Yeah, I, I was like at the mall waiting and he's like, I'm just going to go. Um, well, other, other than that was the, to the mall. ordering the Pennywise oh, yeah. and that getting the chase, right? You know, that but was very it, lucky. But you opened it, so it's just had your lucky charm. On, so on if that. you opened it, it would have been just a regular? No, actually it would have been a bomb <laughs> and it would have blown me up only. <laughs> I would have been the only person to get hurt. I would have been right next to you. No, it's it like as soon as I up. open it, a car comes running, careening into the house and hits me and kills me. And then the box is like unscathed. Unscathed. And it's yeah. mine. Yeah, right. And then, Forever. And then, yeah, and then it turns into a chase magically. It goes, oh, hey, I'm just a chase. I was kidding. Sorry about the car thing. So that's it. <laughs> Comment, like, do everything. Stare at me, stare at her while we talk and say a lot of nerdy, funko, fun things. See you next time, fanatics. Bye.